You've heard of the two sport athlete. Well, for John Urschel, those pursuits have always been football and math. Urschel has been tackling both for his entire life and shattering stereotypes along the way. John Urschel may look more like an NFL lineman than a PhD student in mathematics, but looks can be deceiving. Which did you fall in love with first, math or football? Football, certainly. I majored in aerospace engineering at Penn State because my mother told me I was going to major in aerospace engineering. <laughs> and moms are always right. Moms are always right. Were you drawn to math in any way when you were a kid? I was good at math. I was good at physics. I didn't particularly love it, but once I got to college, I got to see math in a pure form, I would say. Go! As much student as he was athlete in college, Urschel was already making headlines for his unique skill set on and off the field. He finished his mathematics degree in three years, then stayed in school to pursue two masters in the field. And did you stay to get your masters because you wanted the masters or to keep playing football? To keep playing football. Was it nice for you to also break down a stereotype of athletes don't have the intelligence to do something like this? Uh, it was a nice side effect. I've always sort of done the things that I do because it's what I'm passionate about. This was something that I guess came along with it that I didn't realize at the time. What he did know was that the NFL was calling. Drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in 2014, math was benched for football. I loved football, and it, this was one of my life's passions. I know that math is my life's work. Which is why during Urschel's second season in the NFL, he found a way to do both, entering a full-time PhD program in mathematics. PhD at MIT while playing in the NFL is no joke. Do you sit here now and think, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? It was a crazy, <laughs> crazy time in my life. But uh, while I was playing, I don't know, I felt a little, you know, ashamed of myself, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, because I had this dream of, you know, getting my PhD in math, doing good research, and I was really sort of just letting this go. And I knew I had to do something about it. In the end, math won out. After three seasons mm -hmm. in the NFL, you decide to leave and strictly pursue math. Why? Mm -hmm. My family, I have a little one, little Joanna. She's crawling around now. I came to realize that all the things I was most excited about in life at that point all had to do with being a great mathematician, being a great father, and doing these things for a long number of years. Did you worry about what even just three years in the NFL and obviously the time playing in college had done to your brain? No. I truly, I truly, truly believe that I'm living my best life. I wouldn't trade my time at Penn State for the world. And I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing. I'm at MIT. I'm exactly where I want to be, working with exactly who I want to be working with. And it's a great feeling. Urschel is now in the final year of his Ph.D. program, with graduation and his doctorate coming in the spring. Professor John versus Baltimore Raven John, mm -hmm. which one sounds better to you? I'm really liking the Professor John right now. And the opportunity to continue breaking down stereotypes. When you walk the halls at MIT, do you see other black faces? Uh, we do not have any African-American math professors, but... Uh, I'm not sure this is MIT's fault. It's not that these universities don't want to hire African-American math professors, and it's not that babies born white in the United States are that much better at math than African-American babies. It's the sad fact that we have brilliant young talent in this country being born into households where this talent is lost and is not being cultivated. What can you do about that? Hopefully, setting a good example is the first step. I can't ride a bike like this. could not work. Urschel is also finding a way to show off the fun side of math. The center of this wheel here always stays at a constant height. Working with the National Museum of Mathematics. We're going to put the Marvel Universe under the microscope. And with Marvel Comics, taking part in a special series. Just as he found his mathematical passion, He's hoping to spark one in the next generation. I try to help out with programs that serve underrepresented areas to show that math is truly a beautiful, beautiful thing, and it's a powerful tool.
In what way? In that we all make quantitative decisions every day, thousands and thousands of them, mostly without even thinking. And math is truly a language and a tool to train your ability to think through quantitative problems. I mean, I just want to get that Even Urschel's hobbies are a challenge to the brain. All right, let's get it on. Like right, sitting down to play play. chess with friend Rob Hess. Well, you got to defend the pawn. Tell me what I got. Dude. Okay. The two first met when Urschel was still in the NFL. It was the opposite of what I expected right. because I thought I would be like, you know, I'm a huge sports fan. Wow, it's really great to meet you. You know, you're both a brilliant athlete and a brilliant mathematician. And he goes, I've been watching your chess videos. I love your stuff, and it's so good to meet you. What is it? The admiration was warranted. Hess is a chess grandmaster, one of only about 1,500 yeah. in the world. Urschel's aspirations are a bit more modest. He wants to become a national master, one of the best in the United States. How far can he go with chess? Uh, offer on camera. Well, on <laughs> the off-camera answer on camera. Yes. Yeah. John's a very talented player, and I think his mathematical mind really helps him, and I think the competitive nature that, well, he's competitive in everything he does. <laughs> um, so I, I think he can get uh, really a lot better, and he's working towards uh, that goal of becoming a master. Yeah. Do you think he'll reach that goal? Absolutely. I love the culture here. If his past is any partner. indication, Everyone you can count on it. If you have dreams, if you have goals, don't shut these things down. Don't fit into certain stereotypes. Don't think you can't have multiple aspirations. Life's too short. It's too short to settle and to live someone else's dream. He's 27. No, oh, he's not. 27. What a lovely guy. What a lovely guy. <laughs> he really is. And you can see this passion he has for math. Yeah. And he wants kids to sort of be coached in something like math, the yeah. way they're coached in football. And yeah. it's developed. And that love that kids have in an athletic pursuit, they can have in these academic areas like he did. we got a lot of great sports heroes. We need some more math heroes. Yeah. You know? And what a great role model for yeah. young men of color who want to be football players. And see, this guy gave football up for math. Right. Yeah. And not just football. Exactly. Exactly.